Hi, YouTube family. I just got back from taking the kids, Emery, LJ, and Daniel, back home. And um, well, it's always a little sad for me and for them. Daniel breaks my heart. He just, you know, starts crying and wants me to keep holding him because he knows, you know, I mean, the time between us seeing each other is further out. You know, it's not every day anymore. Um, last time they spent a weekend with me was, I think it was just before Thanksgiving, and then they came out for my little Christmas get-together on uh, December 9th, and I think it was, um, well, yeah, it was about two months, almost two months before they come out. And it'll be about two months before they get to come back out again. It'll be... Um, the end of March, well, almost the end of March, but, um, you know, just because I have to work now, and, um, I got to catch up bills and all that stuff, and so, and gas is just crazy expensive, so, um, bless you, um, and I love them so much, I wish they lived next door, um, it's always so quiet when I get back, it's a little sad. Unfortunately, they have, uh, they, um, they must have had a cold or something because, um, their mom, I, I think yesterday, like the all three developed, uh, not the kids, but like LJ and Daniel and, um, two of the kids and then their mom developed, uh, they weren't feeling well. So, um, and they've got runny noses, LJ and Daniel do. I'm not LJ and Daniel, Emery and LJ. But, I mean, they're the two that usually get sick. Daniel, I mean, it'll probably, unfortunately, hit him. I, I don't want to curse that. Um, okay. Uh, anyways, I miss them. And I love you, Emery. I love you, Daniel. I love you, LJ. So, I'm going to cheer myself up and do a fun video. I don't have a lot of time to do this video because we got to leave in about an hour to go to my Uncle George's um, viewing uh, or, 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 or visitation, not viewing, visitation. Um, my Uncle George, my Aunt Irene's husband, passed away. And um, he was a really good guy. I mean, nobody's faith was stronger um and uh i don't think i ever saw him in a bad mood or, or ever saw him when he wasn't smiling you know and very strong faith um so then then we come back tonight and then tomorrow we go back again for his funeral and I feel bad for my cousins because, I mean, I know what they're going through. You know, you lose your dad. But it's also a very precious gift to be able to, you know, he fought for like a few years, I think. <sighs> Alexa. Yeah, my pills are in the car. I forgot to bring them in. Anyways. Oh, usually she says it twice. Yeah, there she goes. This is a reminder. Take my blood pressure pill. She's slow today. This is a reminder. Take my blood pressure Okay. Anyways. So. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a blessing to be able to say, to be able to say goodbye, you know. Um, let's open this box. And. See what my Aunt Kathy sent me. Her link is down in the description. Oh, cool. I was going to use the back of playing cards. These are blank ATCs or artist trading cards. So artists, uh, crafters, whatever, art, whatever you do, we create trading cards and you send them to me. I haven't done these yet, but I'm very excited to get into them. So cool. I've got some blank trading cards. Thank you, Kathy. Favorite Bible verses to bless your heart. Aw. 
That's right. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, 24. No matter what day it is, no matter how I wake up, no matter what happens, God still made this day. The, the devil ain't do nothing. God made this day. And I'm going to rejoice no matter what. Oh my God, is this the one that you were working on? Is this the little um, accordion? Is this the same? It, is it the same one? Hold on, I'll tell you in a minute if the bird's beak is cut off. I know there's... Yep. <laughs> it's the same one. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. I was just loving this when you were making it. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually going to use this. This is so cool. I love this so much. It is just so neat. I love this. Or I'll add to it, you know. <laughs> I was watching you make this. I'm like, that is the coolest looking thing. All right. Let me tie it back up with the bow. You must give a lot of your stuff away that you make. You know, when I see you making it, the use it or lose it stuff. I'm like, what are you going to do with all of it? And she probably gives a lot of it away. And this is a, in another language. <laughs> what the heck is this? It's just a white, is it a marking? Yeah, you, okay, it's just a white. I guess you could use it for marking fabric and whatnot, right? Okay. And this is John Grisham, Grisham The Confession. Oh, it's, your mom sent me this. Thought you might want it. I can't listen to these and focus on driving. Oh, it's a book. Oh. Yeah, they were really into the John Grisham books. Yeah, thank you. I will actually listen to this. Um, I can listen to this on my way to and from work. That's really cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to. I will definitely put that in there. Master the Fundamental of Mixed Media Art. Oh. How to use this book. What did that say down there? It said, remember that there are no rules in mixed media art. Try these techniques, but don't be afraid to experiment with them or come up with your own. That's what I love about mixed media. There are no rules. Sorry, I keep looking for my... I'm supposed to leave at 4, but I went and put it past her to see if I'm home and want to leave early. I still got to take Sandy out. Okay, it's got a different texture, different techniques. and Oh, I'm definitely going to look at this. and Because I'm really wanting to step up my art. Even, you know, with my, my painting, I'm wanting to step up on... We have more crayons, or whatever these are. More markers. Oh, there's a few of them in here. Okay. Okay, cool. Those make good markers. All right, let's see what else we got in here. I'm about to step up my pace. I can finish filming later. Cool, some more cardstock colors. You know, it's my aunt's fault that I'm getting into all this. <laughs> I know she said good. This is, looks like a card. Like, almost. Is it, does it open? This is so pretty. Did I see you making this? This is so beautiful. November 28th. Is that date significant? Or is it just. Okay, so. Oh, it does open. Oh, it's got a little pocket. Oh, oh, it flaps open. I like that. I love it. It's just so random. Everything is so random, but so beautiful. Rhythm and bowing. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I know I will find a use for it. And one day, my nieces will have to go through and decide what to do with it all. <laughs> ha, ha. 
I can't wait for them to have to go. Well, can't wait. I mean, not like I'm ready to die, but they got to go through all my teapots. <laughs> and yes, I want your teapots, Kathy. I absolutely do. And if you're getting rid of them, I've got like over a hundred. I am. I'll find a home for them. I love this picture. That is the neatest picture. This. Oh, did I show you all this or was I look too busy looking at it? She sent me this. This is the coolest picture. These are somebody's people's really old-fashioned Christmas, too. Man, Cindy would love to see this. It's a Christmas card. That is the coolest thing. Maybe I'll give it to Cindy for at Christmas time. She would love that. She would absolutely get a kick out of that. She loves stuff like that. Is this watercolor? Oh, it's more of the... All right, what are these now? I've got to see what these are because there's a bunch of them. Are they just... Are they... Water-soluble wax pastel. <gasps> Oh, yes, yes, yes. You can use them like watercolor. Mixing coverage, mixing, scraping, decorating. Oh, my God. No, it's water resistant wax pastel. Oh, wow. Water resistant. Very cool. Let me get these in there. They some they fell out the they fell out of the um see. love it. I can't wait to play with these. All right, I'll have to sort them out in it. Close it up later. Oh, that's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Is this some fabric? Oh my god, this reminds me of this reminds me of when I was a little girl and we took tap and ballet and did our little performances and we wore sequins. <laughs> Man, that would make a really pretty Bible cover, wouldn't it? That sequence. It was big enough too. I think I will. I think I will. And the back fabric, oh, I have. I think I have just the plan for that. There's a project I'm wanting to do. Or actually, the whole thing might get used on my Bible. All right, let's see. There's some more like random papers. Oh, this is neat. Oh, no, this would go great for that little project I'm going to do. This is a whole other language. This is French. No clue. <laughs> oh, what is it saying? That's okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Y'all see this? This is so beautiful. I'm just like in a trance right now. I'm partly tired, partly hoping I'm not getting sick, but I'm also very much in awe of all of this. Oh, prayer journal made for Dream of Collins by Aunt Kathy Valente. Oh, thank you. I will definitely write my prayers down in it. I used to do that a while back. I used to put my prayers. I saw the movie War Room, and after that, I started writing my prayers um, in a notebook. I think I'll carry this around with me so I have it to write my prayers on. I'm just waiting for my sister to pull up early and be like, I need this. I might have to stop this video and go take my dog out. Man, these things, these things will save your fingers. Prayer card. Oh, I've got some of these somewhere. Prayer cards. Never have too many, though. This is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. This is cool. What is this? It's got, like, scissors and 
little threading thing on it. Oh my god, how cute is that? How cute is that? It's got a little tiny thread thing. Sewing needle. This is adorable. Oh, it's got musical notes on the front. This is adorable. It's got pockets. These are pockets. This is too cute. Did I show it to y'all? I'm going to have to stop this video. I'm going to have to finish it up later. This is too cute. There's the back. And there's the front. That is too cute. That's so off the charts cute. Oh my goodness. This is off the charts cute. And this is a webcam. She told me she was sending this to help me uh, to set my tripod up. There's some more of these to help me with my video. Because so, usually what I've been doing is flipping the video upside down. And so here's the tripod for it. So I'll be able to put the video down on what I'm doing. I got it. I really got it. Maybe out because it's 315 already. And there are some of these little tags. I knew this box was gonna be awesome. Trading card techniques and ATCs artist. Oh, this is a trading cards techniques. Oh. Wow. So artist trading cards are a thing. I thought y'all made it up. <laughs> I thought you guys in the crafting community made it up. Now this is neat and it, just, it shows different techniques for creating trading cards. It's really cute. It's by um, Lisa Volrath, Michael Charles, and Jim Holtz. Designs by Suzanne McNeil. I will have to get more into this stuff and looking more at everything. Um later right now i've really got to go and take thank you so much kathy this is also very awesome i can't wait to look at everything closer but i know my sister is going to pull up any minute because we've got to i got back to hope well again i'm glad she's driving this time i don't know how you get this stuff in the box because i sure can't get it back in there the way you had it all right everybody Thank you so much for watching that unboxing. Who knows when I'll upload it. Maybe this evening when I get back. God bless you all. Love you. Yeah.